will be telling a story about the elf and the shoemaker, but we are not well prepared, so it will be seen obviously that we are not well prepared. Once upon a time, there was a kind of shoemaker who was very poor. In fact, one night, the shoemaker realized that he only had one last piece of leather. Oh my god, I only had one last piece of leather. If I can't get more than this, I need to close my shop. You cannot do that. Your job is the only way we can earn the money. I will try my life. I will try my best. <laughs> He goes to sleep first. I need to set out his leather first. Then his wife went to bed and he sat at his workbench and cut out the last piece of leather. He prayed that somehow he and his wife would find a way to survive and then he went to sleep. The next morning, he woke up and went to his workbench in his shop. Honey, look at this. These shoes were perfectly made. There was no single tree or stitch that was out of place. But who made it? I thought there was somebody who made his shoes last night. But who would do shoes kindly for us? They, they make these shoes perfectly. Soon, the shoemaker opened his shop and those shoes were sold in just one second because they were so well made. One of the customers paid him much more for the shoes than the normal price. He took the money and when that he got from the sale and bought enough leather to make two pairs of shoes and dinner for his wife and himself. They had no eaten for two days. Before he went to bed, he cut the leather to make it at the morning. When he went to his workbench, the shoes were already made. He cannot believe his luck. They were perfect in every way. Someone had done his work for him last night. Very, very, guess what? Someone has made our shoes me. Oh, this is incredible. I wish I knew who was helping us. I would thank them. I would give them presents. She stopped. She realized that they had almost nothing to give anyone. Well, I will at least thank them very much. The shoemaker opened the shop again, and in just a blink of an eye, the shoe sold out. The customer paid more than her price because it well made. The shoemaker and his wife went to the leather swim and bought enough leather for four pairs of shoes. They also bought enough food to last two days. On the way home, the shoemaker spot a white infant going on his own on the, on the side of the road. He picked the flower and gave it to his wife. She smiled and put it in her hair. I am going to put this in a bus later so that we have something pretty to look at during dinner. At dinner, the shoemaker and his wife fly to gate. Guess who might be making the shoes for them but had no luck. Finally, it was getting late and he started to cut the leather. While it was work, he had an idea. He called his wife to eat wash the dishes. The shoe. Mary, I just thought of something. We should hide in the workroom of the shop and wait for the mysterious husband to come tonight. Then we will know who is helping us. That's a great idea. Let's do it. And so they hide behind the large arm. After quite a while, two elves that were wearing a beautiful clothes entered the workroom of the shop and began to make the shoes. They zoomed around at lightning speed and finished making all four pairs in two minutes. And then they zoomed right out of the shop. They were gone before the shoemaker or his wife could thank them. The next morning, the shoemaker and his wife decided to thank them. Then Mary called they still had some food to give to the elves.
that day, the shoemaker sold the four pairs of shoes and used the money from the sales to buy enough leather to keep him in business for a few weeks. When night came and it was very late, the shoemaker and his wife went down to the shop and put the foods such as apple and, and porridge that Mary had made for the two elves on the workbench. Then they hide behind the armchair and wait.